Hey guys, it's Rebecca from Artsy Squirrels. And today, we're not gonna do some structured video. Basically, you are going to be watching me paint a ballet slipper from start to finish. I believe my sketch is in here, my back painting's here, all the structure, the back washes, every single layer you are going to see, which is a lot of fun. I actually really enjoy just watching this time lapse, so hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as I do. And while you watch this, what are you going to listen to? Is it story time? Something from Rebecca's past? No, Rebecca is going to vent to you about this insane week. What has happened? Well, I revamped my office. Super stoked. I might actually include a picture right here. I love it. But this office required not one, not two, but three trips to Ikea in one day. Why three trips, Rebecca? Well, guys, maybe whenever you go to Ikea, you should make sure everything that you get actually goes together because I happen to think that everything was interchangeable. And what? I was wrong. Trip one. Actually, reason for trip two, but still. Why would you have to do a third trip? Did you learn from your mistakes, Rebecca? I mean, yeah, I learned from that mistake, but what I didn't learn from is the fact that I had a really long tabletop. And what that means is it needs a center brace leg, not just four corner legs. So I got everything I needed except one leg. Yeah, so three trips to Ikea in one day. Just awful. A couple late nights getting everything set up, moving furniture, breaking down a massive table in my studio because I thought it was a great idea and I had it and it just takes up so much room. And my parents are amazing because they built that for us whenever it was a dining table and I thought it would be a good idea to have a dining table in my studio because let's face it, I just didn't think it through. And it's so huge and I can't really video on it because I don't have really expensive recording equipment that means it can like extend that far over a table. It's a whole thing. So broke that down. Had a sleepless night where I was moving furniture at three in the morning. No big deal. Totally fine. And then I had hiccup after hiccup with my microphone. My amazing husband ordered me a really good one and then it didn't come and so we ordered another one and then it got marked as undeliverable and we ordered another one and it was supposed to be delivered today and it got stolen off of our porch step five minutes after it got delivered. What the heck, guys? Why? But yeah, so that was my mic situation. I just got so frustrated and fed up. I grabbed my keys, I went to Micro Center, found a really good mic, and it actually is really, really pretty. It's in white, and I love it. And I got a boom arm, and I got the speakers that had also gotten stolen off of our porch step. And I got that set up. So that finally got done. <laughs> and then I had to reorganize everything in my studio because I can't just have everything a mess. My brain can't deal with it. So, yeah, it's been a long week, but originally I was gonna do story time or maybe I was gonna talk about the stress and anxiety I feel about posting my art because I feel like stress and anxiety is something everybody has and it should be openly discussed. But no, um, instead I went through all of this other stuff and I really felt the need to vent and I wanted to vent a lot. And you know, people work, people have jobs, I can't just call somebody in the middle of the day and rant, though I did with my mother. Unfortunately, you know, she's busy. So I talked to her later on because she's awesome, but I just wasn't done. I don't know if you've ever been that way where you've just had such a frustrating days where you're like, I need the world to hear about this. These are 100% hurt world problems, by the way. But still, it was frustrating and exasperating. And I really just wanted to vent about it. So if you're here, you got to hear me vent about it. And hopefully you got a kick out of it and enjoyed my 
time lapse of my ballet slipper. By the way, this piece has got to be one of my favorite pieces I have done to date. I actually put a lot of work into this. I've done more than a few sketches of it. I found the reference photo I used was just amazing. Just the grace and the strength that this ballerina shows and exemplifies is amazing. And I got really, really interested in the slippers. And so when I first stumbled upon this reference image, I was just like, oh my God, so perfect. I changed up the background. I actually just sort of inverted the colors, really. The other background was like, uh, I guess it was the floor of a stage, maybe. And so I switched up to a really rich red that I thought was just so passionate and vibrant and did a nice contrasting blue, what's it called? Blue leg warmer. Uh, and I just love how it came out. I'm really glad I added the texture with the palette knife. So I had a really, really great time making this and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you enjoyed the rant and I will see y'all next week.